Should you use CSS or should you use JavaScript to create your animations? To answer this question, you have to first recognize that there are three possible ways to create animations on the web. They are, first of all, with CSS transitions, second, with CSS animations, and third, with JavaScript. Before we move on, just a quick little recap regarding these three different things so we're on the same page. CSS transitions are animations you create with the transition property. So one example is to change the background color of a button from blue to red. So that is a transition with a transition property. CSS animations are animations you create with the animations property and the add keyframes declaration. So here's an example of a simple keyframes property where you move something from the left to the right and back. CSS animations allow you to animate things forever and allows you to handle more complex animations compared to CSS transitions. JavaScript animations are slightly more tricky to explain. When you think about JavaScript animations, what we usually think about is we use JavaScript to create the animations directly. But what goes underneath the hood is JavaScript will change the CSS rapidly so it creates an animation. Uh, so that's what uh, the category of JavaScript animations refer to. For example, this piece of code moves an object from the left to the right. If you look at it in the console when the animation is running, you can see that JavaScript changes the transform property rapidly to create the animation. If you want a more detailed tutorial into CSS transitions or CSS animations, or even Greensock Animation API, which is used to create the JavaScript animation that you saw earlier, you'll find the links to these tutorials in the description below. If you're watching this week, you have to wait till next Wednesday for the Greensock Animation API tutorial because it's not released on my blog yet. So with those basics covered, let's get to the meat of our question today. And that is, should you use CSS or should you use JavaScript to create your animations? Uh, when I think about this question, I look at two criteria. The first thing I look at is the complexity of the animation. Does the animation contain more than two states? By having two states, I mean it has more than a start state and an end state. If a button changes from blue to red, the blue state is the start state and the red state is the end state. Uh, if you have a button that changes from blue to red to green, these are three different states, blue, red, and green. If there are only two states, always use CSS transitions because that's what they are made for. If there are more than two states, you want to consider either CSS animations or consider animating with JavaScript. The line between CSS animation and JavaScript for animations is blurred. Generally speaking, I feel that it is harder to create complicated animations with CSS animations. So if your animation is quite simple, like maybe you need three to five different states, you can consider CSS animations. If your animation is more complex, like if you need to chain multiple elements together, or uh, you need to opt more some SVGs, you need to respond to the different events, or you need some sort of randomness that only JavaScript can create, then you better use JavaScript to create your animations. The second criteria I look for when thinking about whether to use CSS or JavaScript to create the animations is what triggers the animation. If you don't need a trigger, the best option is to go for CSS animations because CSS animation can play immediately when the browser loads. It is also cross-browser friendly, and it also works even if the person who is using a website doesn't have JavaScript turned on. If you don't play the animation right when the screen loads, if you don't play the animation when the screen loads, you will probably trigger the animation with some sort of user interaction. In that case, there will be something like a mouse over, a click event, a submit event, a change event, or maybe a custom event of your own, or any other kind of events you can listen with JavaScript. For this kind of user interaction animations, I usually choose between CSS transitions and JavaScript animations. If I choose to use transitions, and that is because the animation is simple. If I use JavaScript, then the animation is complex. So there you have it. Um, that's my simple criteria for determining whether to use CSS or use JavaScript for animation. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you like this video and you want more videos like this, feel free to hit the subscribe button down below 
and I'll send you a video like this every Friday. Or better yet, hop onto my website at zellwk.com. I'll leave a link in the description below and subscribe there. If you do so, I'll send you one article and one video every week to help you become a better front-end developer. With that, have a good weekend and Merry Christmas.